think to have the uh, purposeful business, we need to have a life with a purpose. You know, each of us, I think, need to understand why we are born, what we're doing, and what we're going to do. I think uh, having a profitability and the growth, what we're talking about, to me as a business, that's like a minimum requirement. Minimum. You know, of course, in business, we're going to make a profit. There's no question about it. But we can do much, much more than that. Because think about it, we get to such a good, we're building great organizations, right? Huge talent in there. So passionate people in there. Sure, we can make a profit, but as an organization, I think we can do so much more to not only to ourselves, but to our societies. That's the whole thing's about. So when we start thinking this way, I think we started adding the uh, life, some kind of spirit into the uh, business or organization form we have. Just our mission statement. Make the world a better, safer place. To make this real, we have to walk the talk. We really have to do it in a daily basis for all the activities based on that mission statement. I think that's so critical. So set up a vision. There are three visions we put up, simple one. One is a below, be a global leader in the structural engine disaster risk management. Has to be some kind of inspirational stuff you know, we put up there. Second one, take bold actions to safeguard humanity. You know, gotta be kind of cool, you know, has to be something like that. That impact society as a thousand person firm. Then we set up the goals. So goals is the, uh, obviously we put the, articulate the goals in revenue growth and profitability, obvious, right? We do that. But on top of that, so when we generate this revenue, what is actually impact to the society, to the, to the place we live? So today, we possibly impact 10 million people's lives, and we're looking at the 2025, we should be able to double that number. I think our industry can have, and does have, the biggest impact on humanity. Because we create the, the place, we create the shelter, we create this building, we create our houses. It's a big deal what we do. So this May, I was in uh, uh, Ethiopia, and just traveling around, and I met the uh, uh, people there. It's a tribe called Kara tribe, and I saw what they're doing there. And I just want to come share with you. This is my message for everybody to hear, for the world, for everybody to hear, because we can't hide and die people everywhere here. We need to tell for the other people to know our problem, to know what is happening in Omo Valley. Rain. On the rain, when you see sky there, there's no enough rain. In the three years, there was a very shortage of the food in the village. Oh. We need to make canals here, and this is the solar panels. The pump is down there, so we we build water reservoir over there, and then make canals along here, and the pump the water reserve in the canal and then delivery to the main canal and to the pumps. So it is, it is, we guess, it's like a 200, more than 200 people. Now, uh, i like to present to you the uh, elder from Akara tribe, Omo Valley, Lale. Thank you. My message today is we have a problem in Omo. We have Omo River. We depend on the seasonal flood in Omo River. Like end of August to September. And then when they build this dam, nobody's at least consulted any Omo Valley local people. So my message here, why I come here, is to ask your support. 
We need to keep this culture. Soon, people leave the villages. Where? We don't know. Because food is number one for everybody. Because we tried in many ways to plant crops. So this is uh, my message to, to you. We have a um, very nice culture, very nice elder, very nice systems in the villages there. So I think this is a message for, for you. I think this can help. Yeah.